hi friends uh, in this video as you can see I have one of the charger which is 12 volt and 24 volts input and the output is standard uh, Android and uh, Nokia standard is there uh, these two outputs are coming which is of course 4 5 volt and uh, some 800 milliampere or 1 ampere current is there for the output uh, we will attempt repair on this uh, charger you must you people must watch this video complete it will not be very very much long but it will be some way long video because a repair we are going to attempt uh, also you people must uh, subscribe this channel and uh, press on bell icon so then you will get notifications on each of upload I'm uploading such repair videos and informative videos I'm uploading time to time uh, intervally so you will get notifications for each upload uh, so here you can see this is uh, interlink charger interlink chargers are good here is one of the indicators the led indicator and the side way you can see a standard usb and uh, here is some specs they have given uh, 12 volt 24 volt is the input and 5 volt of course is the output and uh, one ampere chinese charger uh, these interlink chargers they are good they are uh, good in quality uh, and uh, they are uh, providing a good quality component after market i mean to say third party uh, equipment uh, here uh, we are going to open this thing this is from one of my subscriber he sent it to me uh, to attempt the repair he was about to watch how we are att attempting a repair on such an electronic item when it is going defective so these chargers they are normally going defective very commonly with people and while they are going defective uh, people are just throwing this away uh, which is not the proper way i mean this is making waste and uh, also uh, making pollution uh, so these cables you can see these are also burnt burnt burning mark is there on the cable and uh, on the input maybe somebody had attempted uh, to provide 220 volts and the input or maybe not i'm not sure uh, there is no information about this if uh, 220 volt is applied so it will be damaged too much inside and if it is damaged uh, naturally i mean on 12 volt so it will not be too much damaged uh, anyhow we can repair in any way uh, here is one of the ic uh, which is charging ic and here is a coil or inductor and these four diodes are there uh, which are for the bridge rack as a bridge rectifier they are connected if in any direction you are providing power there is no plus and minus uh, so it will work and uh, here is the usb and of course the led uh, for uh, showing the status here is a circuit diagram for this uh, for this uh, charger uh, normally while uh, this is going defective people what they are thinking is the ic is defective and you must have to replace the ic and the charge the charger will come to work uh, this ic is ad 85063d uh, very common very popular ic which is used for uh, such a purpose eight pins are there you can see uh, but this is not a good practice that you are going to replace the ic uh, one and six they are connected uh, together and the four is ground so six is vcc and four is ground and one is also connected to the vcc uh, so this charger will come to work if the supply is coming uh, to the ic here is the circuit diagram uh, as you can see uh, it is shown that six and one is connected together with a 12 volt power input and the four is grounded uh, so we must have to check these voltages six and four and six uh, uh, if uh, power is available on six and four uh, so this ic should work and output should come if it is not coming i mean the voltage is there on on ic and uh, the circuit is not giving output five volt so maybe the ic will be bad and if voltage is not coming so then we will see the other circuit the input the cables and the bridge rectifier of course uh, so here i am going to connect this circuit to 12 volt power 
here is uh, this 12 volt power which is coming from my cha adapter so here i'm going to confirm it in front of you on the meter you can see 12.23 volt uh, 12 volt is coming so this 12 12 volt i will connect anywhere i can connect because there is no particular direction because uh, bridge rectifier is there in the input so this will not make any difference if reverse polarity will come uh, so the LED re-indication is not coming, means that 5 volt output is not there. Uh, pin 6 and 4, I'm going to connect the multimeter. 4, I will connect black. This notch is, you can see this notch is there. Under the notch, there is one terminal number 1. This is for new people I'm uh, demonstrating. Uh, so from 1 to 8, you will count in this U shape. Uh, so 6 is coming over here and 4 is over here. So we are going to connect. I'm going to connect my multimeter props to 6 and 4. So the power should be there. If 12, some 11 to 12 volt is not coming, as you can see here, I'm just getting 0 0.5 half a volt, which is nothing. Half a volt on at half a volt, this IC will not work. This will not produce any output. So that's why you cannot see uh, the LED. So this uh, the problem can be um, some loose connection or some component damage or the input cables damage. Something will be there because the supply is not reaching to the IC. Now I'm going to dismantle this unit from the cover, the downside cover I removed from. And let us see what is happening at the board what happened at the board we will see uh, carefully see the board and maybe you will uh, see the problem here these two diodes are there they are good it seems good and these diodes are bad they are just broken you can see uh, in the visual inspection uh, we saw that the two diodes they are bad minimum these diodes we will replace and the other diodes we will check other two diodes these are the input diodes these are not short key they are just uh, general purpose diodes uh, so let us check on multimeter 0.5 reading we can we should get on diode reading and if the probe is reversed so we will not get anything on diode uh, one side 0.5 should come and here on the defective diode you can see we get some reading on the reverse direction also and on the uh, proper direction it is giving a point 0.5 and reverse direction also the power is the reading is coming so it means that these diodes are sure bad because they are bad they are broken and they are defective so he these are the replacement diode i will put in the replacement diode anything you can put one and four zero zero four one and four zero zero seven anything you have you can put it in these are common diodes we will put these diodes and i will put these diodes and then i will show you either it works or not if it will not work then maybe the ic could also be a culprit uh, here i put uh, both the diodes new diode i mean the replacement diodes i put and these broken diodes i replaced from uh, the soldering process and the soldering process i did not show because if i will capture that it will take too much time so these two diodes we have connected good diodes and now let us see if we provide power the output indication comes or not we will see and also i will show you the output voltage as you can see while i'm connecting on the input 12 volt so the led the blue led came the indication and it shows that 12 volt is coming in the output mm, so the in uh, on the ic also there will be voltage now i will show you on the meter let us see this is for the new people i'm just showing that you have to have a good voltage understanding reading understanding so that you will be able to get fault so you 11.97 means 10.97 uh, means 11 volt i'm getting on ic while it is good i mean the input is good so then a diode replaced and uh, now 11 volt is coming means that uh, it's good reading on the IC pins now the output I'm going to show you this should be some 5 volt as you can see 5.1 volt 5.1 volt we are getting 5.1 volt means that this is going to the charging uh, connector and it will sure charge uh, so now by this way 
we replace we repaired this charger and uh, by replacing two diodes it came to life sometimes the electronics repair is such easy and sometimes it's a nightmare but normally uh, such repairs are easy if you give little attention uh, you can make repair on such small items uh, maybe you learned something from this video if you learned it like this video uh, subscribe and press on bell icon so you'll get notification thank you for watching